Hi guys, we are at Dalkey Cemetery and there is some sheep around this area. So I just got to be careful. Roaming around and stuff. I, and sheep is sheep. Weak. No, I don't know. I might um, start off over here first. Um, what am I doing? Pop around. There we go, guys. Well, I hope I can get in between there. I think the sheep was freaked out because <laughs> I'm in here. Hi spirits, my name is Mark. I have my wife with me, Annette. Um, any spirits here that like to have a chat? And sheep being disrespectful. <laughs> One deal in the loving memory of Alma. Gratitude. I think that that loved only child of humiliate. Humiliate. Mm. Loved the only child of George and Miller. Wendell, Wendell passed away 10th of January 2004, age 82 years in God's care. So that one there is a later one. And we have this funny fellow. <laughs> mm, just the head there. That's better. Just moved him up a bit. Um, yeah. Any spirits like to come and say hello? Sarah. Sarah. I can have a bit of a make sure to see if there's a Sarah here. And I think that's a Dorothy Elizabeth Stell. 18, 17, 18, 88, 30 years in colony, colony, colony. Okay. And that one's in a different language again, guys. Um, in between. There we go. And we have a, a little one in the memory of Mervyn. I think Mervyn and Ed, Edgar Waddell um, died the 12th of February 1943, age 10 years, God has done all the things well. Okay. Sad. I'm close. You're close.
and we got a bit of a mixture here guys um, I want to get off this section here whoa now that's a gaping big hole and that guy's huge hole wow Maybe something was going to get buried there and they've forgotten about it. Maybe. And I ain't going to find, I'm not going to have a look to find out. Oof. Just in case a curly up snake gets there. Okay. Okay, we don't have to um, spend a whole 30 minutes on this one. And that's pretty cool. I reckon out here will be pitch black doing this one in the dark. Would be all right. That one's been busted, broken off, fallen off there. Dull. Dull. Uh, yeah, really. That one I can't read either. These older ones. Mm, they put in a new new seat. And you want to sit down and rest. Grandson. Grandson. Those ones there are in a different language as well. Wow. This is quite a, an oldie. In the loving memory of my dear wife. Start. And start. Um, Mathilolid. M-A-T-H-I-L-D-E-A. Tragia. Died 2nd of December 1946, aged 75 years. Oh. Rest in peace. And this one here's got some pretty hard ones to read as well. Um, any spirits here like to come and say hello? Even if you want to say I like you, <laughs> I would love I like you. Box. Box. What type of box? Yeah, this one's in a different language as well here, guys. Those ones there in a different language. And this one here has fallen in, as you can see, it's fallen into the actual grave oh, and there's a, a yeah a modern one by Dell in the loving memory of a Rita Elizabeth died twenty fifth August nineteen fifty five 
age 45 years, loved wife of Herbert Gust Gustav, died 4th November 1983, age 76 years, loved parents of Keith. Thank you. Glenn, Melvin and Adrian resting in peace. You're welcome. Those ones there with the crosses on them. <clears throat> this one here needs to be fixed up. Looks like sheep have been on it. There's the sheepy sheepies doing their business on the resting place, but they don't know any better the sheep. Aye. Any spirits, any spirits I'd like to come and say hello? And there it is, I said it twice. <sighs> so to say it once. Any spirits like to come and say hello? Kevin. Yeah. I hope you're all in heaven. Might meet up with these guys one day. When I get up there, meet up with all my brothers and sisters up there. No. No, I don't smoke. I don't smoke at all. I don't know what. That's in the loving memory of S. Gothel. I don't know. You guys might have to read that or get a photo of it all. And I don't know what that silver thing is. But yeah, it's stuck to, it's stuck to the grey, the stone. Probably someone's personal, um, what do you want to call it? Aunt. Plaque. Aunt. Aunt. Yeah. Plaque. That's what I was meant to say. Plaque. Someone's plaque. So, yeah. Okay, any spirits like to come and say hello? Last chance, guys, I'm going to do a walk around. A last chance to, if you want to speak. Oh, there's that big hole again. I'm lost. Well, can I help you? If you're lost, can I help you? If you're lost, I can help you. All you have to do is run into the light, and that's where your safe spot is. If 
you can see the light run into that. Did I read this one as in W-E-L-K-E -E in the loving memory of Clarence, Clarence. Respect. I do respect. I don't come here in disrespect. I come, up, I come here in the most up respect. Clarence at Foyle. Died 23rd October 1993, aged 78 years. Beloved husband of Selma Elmer. Died 26th of April. Play with me. Well, who am I playing with? What's your name? 26th of April 2011, aged 96 years. Someone died on my birthday. It's not nice. <laughs> Loved father and mother of Lynette, Margaret, Kevin, Daryl, Robert, Warren, uh, Decay, Yvette, Patricia, in God's care. There we go. I just read all that. <laughs> Rest in peace. And another, is it one? No, different name. Okay, any spirits here like to come and say hello? Last chance. Last chance, guys. We can sit and have a conversation for five minutes or so if you don't want to. That's okay. Don't have to. Which? Which? No witches here, not that type of witch. <laughs> okay, guys, that's the last of the uh, cemeteries for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed our videos that comes out each week. Um, I know we won't be putting one up today so because um, we're out and about. Um, hopefully we get to put one up tomorrow. Man. man. Yeah, I'm a man standing here. Um, so I'm going to say ciao for now and we'll see you in the next video when we get out and about again. Uh, see you all guys.